Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be about the Tory Burch Kira convertible shoulder bag in the size small. I have two of these, but at one time I had five or six and I whittled my collection down to my two favorites as I do sometimes when I get crazy with collecting and then realize I don't need quite that many colors or options in one particular style. But the two that I have are gorgeous. I was looking at them yesterday, trying to decide if I wanted to keep these two. And I was playing with them, doing different things, trying to figure it out. And I thought about it and decided that I should make a video about some of the things that I discovered. First of all, you may recall that I did a video about my Coach Pillow Madisons where I showed you how to make a top handle. And this was something pretty easy to do. You just get a little tool like this. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, like that. And then you pull the straps together and hook them together, you create a shoulder strap top handle configuration instead of a double shoulder strap. Well, I decided I wanted to do that with my Tory Burch Kira. And so I got out the little clasp and went to work. And do you know what I found? It was so finicky to keep this bit draped in the front. If it ever got on the top, it would just fall straight through. And then I'd have to pull it back out and lay it across the front. Of course, it wouldn't be that long. It would be just above the T. And I don't know why that is, why it just wanted to go back through those holes. And the other one, the Pillow Madison that I just showed you, stays beautifully draped. But this bag just went like that and was flat. And then the excess would hang on the inside instead of hanging down the front like I wanted. So if I did do that hack with the Tory Burch Cura bag, I would end up with it like this, except for when I wanted to grab it, and then it would stay like that, and then it would go straight back down. So for me, that didn't work, because part of having the hack is having that bit draped in the front. I think it's just like swag, it's beautiful, and I was trying to achieve that goal with this bag. When I bought these bags, and I just did something, I don't know if you can tell that I did something, but when I bought these bags, I got the small size because on the resale market, I've looked at the bigger size and it does not look very good whenever it's been worn because there's no structure to the bags. You see that? I decided that I would grab one of the inserts that I'm currently using on my Coach Soft Tabby. This is an insert by Suni Bag and & Bag and it's designed for the Gucci Marmot small shoulder bag, also known as the camera bag. And when you put it in this bag, it pretty much fits like a glove. You can see it's a tight fit. And then, much like the bag looked at the beginning of the video, it has structure. So I was on the fence about selling this bag, and then I put that in there. And Typically, when I've carried this bag, once I put my stuff in it, it keeps it from collapsing. But I like the fact that now it's not collapsing, even when it's empty, because the bag is completely empty. I just wanted to show you how doing something small, like putting an organizer in a bag, can totally change the way you feel about it. Because I like this bag so much more now that it has that in it. It's just beautiful versus kind of eh, you know? So I thought I would go ahead and show you what fits inside these small convertible bags. Right now on the Tory Burch website, you can get the mint color, I think, on sale, as well as a raffia version on sale, and I can link those down below. I did get a chance to feel the raffia version when I did a sack shopping video, and it feels pretty awesome. I mean, it's not, it's not scratchy or anything like that. It's so smooth and buttery feeling and it's made out of straw or whatever they use. It felt really good. And then I think it had leather trim on it, which was very, very luxurious as well. Right now I'm carrying my denim soft tabby by Coach and I've got it decked out with this special chain that was part of the Dinky 19 a long, long time ago. And I'm going to go ahead and take out what I've got in this bag and put it into my Tory Burch Kira. Because the Soft Tabby is not a super tall bag, I'm using these pouches instead of my Longchamp pouch. This is an Amazon pouch, comes in a set of three for like $7.99. Then I've got a little Clinique pouch as well. 
When I'm in a small bag, I will often get rid of my credit card holders and use these little SUNY bag and bag slip pockets, which come with their inserts oftentimes. I really like those because they fit tightly into the pockets on the SUNY bag and bag insert. And by the way, this is not sponsored by SUNY bag and bag. I did not receive this insert that's in this bag for free or anything like that. I paid for this one with my own money. They have given me some inserts, but not the ones for my Coach Soft Tabbies. Okay, so I've got my AirPods case, my card holder in a little pouch. I've got some cash, got some more cash and some papers. And I'm gonna slide those into the pocket on the bag. My key fob, that slides right at the end of the organizer. And that is absolutely everything that I was carrying inside of my Soft Tabby. So you can see, Soft Tabby is empty. And again, it's got the same exact organizer in it that this bag has, but a different color. And this bag is full. And this bag looks full. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn full. I could condense it just a little bit if I wanted to, but I don't have to at all. So I am five foot eight, and I feel like this hits me in a really good spot. I'm gonna pull that back so you can see. It's below my waistline. So for a crossbody, this is a nice length for a person who's five foot eight. It might be a little longer if you're shorter or a little shorter if you're taller, of course. It's not adjustable, but it's very comfortable because it has the leather part on the shoulder. You can also pull up the other strap and wear it as a shoulder bag. It's really comfortable as a shoulder bag. It's definitely what I would consider a long shoulder bag. So the bag is a very comfortable bag to wear, whichever way you choose to wear it. Just keep in mind that it's not adjustable. If you want a much shorter crossbody, you can pull up the center part of the chain and then leave essentially this little top handle, which of course doesn't really work that well as a top handle, but it looks like a top handle. And then you can carry a crossbody with the chain. The chain itself is a curb chain, which means it's flat. So as far as comfort goes, it's pretty darn comfortable. Even if you just use the chain on your shoulder, I tend to want to, when I put it on my shoulder though, I overlap the chain on top of the leather and have it more like that when it's on my shoulder. So the color I've been showing you is called Pink Moon. They've recently had a color called Meadow Sweet, which is sort of similar for sale on the Tory Burch website. I don't think it's there right now. Right now, the only leather option, and when I say leather, I mean lamb leather. This bag is made out of lamb skin. And some people say that they don't wear that well. I haven't carried mine enough to really know, but I haven't noticed any issues. The leather is very soft, and I do appreciate that the inside of the flap is leather as well. This feels very luxurious right here, probably even more luxurious than the outside of the bag. I went ahead and stuck an insert in this one too, so it would have structure, but I'll go ahead and pull that out and show you a little bit closer. So there are two pockets here on this side and they are long pockets. The top edge is lined in leather. And when you look at the stitching work here, they have really reinforced these so that they won't tear or come apart. The lining is a nice thick jacquard weave type fabric. And the back part has a nice size zipper pocket. That's where I put all my papers on the other bag. So even though I'm using the insert in the bag, I still have access to that pocket. And as you can see, I can still get to these pockets here because of where the insert hits. It hits right at the edge of the pockets. So to me, that's about the perfect position for an insert to have. And as you can see from this one, which is full, it's not showing any lumps or bumps. The outside is nice and smooth. You don't have that bendy, wrinkling on the front like you saw when it was empty and you don't see that on this one either as long as the inserts in it despite the fact that it has nothing in it. I believe this is the color Poblano and it comes with this I think it's called rolled silver hardware. I said tumbled at one point when I was in the Tory Burch outlet and I think they corrected me and said it was rolled. I don't know. There is some weight to the chain it feels very substantial. It's not like uncomfortably heavy, but I don't think it's aluminum. I think it's, I think it's something else. Now they've done a different kind of emblem that's larger and it's more raised up. 
I can show it to you on my Tory Burch woven Kira. You can see that it's just a lot more substantial looking. I love the new emblem, but I totally don't mind the emblem that I've got on this bag. When I originally got this bag, I was thinking that it reminded me of the Gucci Marmont bag. But it was more tactful and more aesthetically pleasing because the Gucci Marmont shoulder bag has a giant GG in the front. And I feel like Tori Birch's emblem is very artistic. It's very, it doesn't look like two T's. I mean, I know it's two T's, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like a florette or something on the Louis Vuitton monogram pattern. It looks like fleur de lis or something like that as opposed to being an actual monogram and that's one of the things i love about tori birch is how beautiful their emblem is so i think i've covered all the points i wanted to make about the tori birch kira convertible shoulder bag in the size small the two colors i have are beautiful i think i'm going to hang on to them for now but i would say i recommend them they're kind of pricey now when i got them they were $458, I believe, and now they're $548. So they did have quite a rise in price. And the bigger size, I think, is about $50 more. I definitely wouldn't pay full price for these. I would buy them on sale. And I bought these on sale when I got them. Actually, that's not true. I think I paid about retail for the Pink Moon one. I was just lusting after it. Sometimes I'm like, a moth to the flame when it comes to handbags. I just can't get something out of my mind and then I'm like, I've got to buy it right now. And since then, I've never seen this one on sale, although I might have been content with the Meadow Sweet color had I waited. It's definitely more of a pink than a nude. This one kind of leans towards nude. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. If you go to the search bar, just put in the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase, all one word, and I will pop right up. You can DM me on Instagram or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I hope to see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.